All right, so we've talked about different types of energy, and now we're going to talk about how those different types of energy interact with each other and uh, change forms, essentially. So, so energy can be, based on the law of conservation of energy, we know that energy can be transformed from one form to another. It can't be created or destroyed, but it can be converted or transformed into one form from another. So no energy conversion is 100% efficient. This is very important to understand. That if we're converting, let's say, kinetic to potential energy, in real life, we're never going to get all of the energy that we started with. Energy is always going to be lost to one source or another, usually as heat. Uh, it could be lost to friction, air resistance, uh, a bunch of different things. It, but it's important to know that in, in, real, in the real world, no energy conversion is 100% efficient. So if we have, let's say, a battery powering our phones, the, the battery, uh, the energy that's used uh, by the battery, or the energy that's given off by the battery, we, we don't get that much energy uh, to power our phone. And it's close, like we get a lot of that energy, but not 100% of it is, is given to the phone. Right? So what we want to be able to do is think about, in terms of the different types of energies that we've talked about, how, uh, how do certain processes work? So we have a battery. We talked about batteries as having chemical energy because inside the battery we have all these, all these chemicals. So batteries have chemical energy. And when we use them to power our phones, there's kind of a transformation process that occurs. So the, the chemical energy from the battery is converted into electrical energy. And that's what powers our phone. So we convert the chemical energy in the battery into electrical energy to power our phones. And then what type of energy do we get out of our phones? If we think about this, we have our phone has a screen that's pro projecting light. So we're getting light energy out of it. And what else do our phones do? Well, they make noise. So we have sound energy that we're getting out of our phones. And realistically, there is a byproduct here, which would be thermal energy. Because if you ever had your phone in your pocket for a while, you can tell the battery gets hot. Um, some, sometimes the, uh, the, the energy doesn't always go exactly where we want it to. We have no purpose for our phones to be hot. We don't want our battery energy going towards heat. But some of it, again, because conversions are not 100% efficient, some of it is essentially wasted as heat, not going towards our intended purposes. But so this is what we want to be able to track through is different types of energy and how they are converted and transformed in various processes. All right, so pause the video and try and think and uh, see if you can think of an example of the following. Chemical energy being converted into kinetic energy, electrical energy being converted into sound energy, and kinetic energy being converted into electrical energy. All right, so pause the video right now and uh, try and think of those on your own and I'll give some examples here. Uh, so chemical energy uh, being converted into kinetic energy. A couple of examples of this. We talked about food as chemical energy. So food, if we take in food and then let's say go for a run or something like that, we're using kinetic energy for, for moving and we have food that's giving us chemical energy. So that food uh, is, the chemical energy from the food is being converted into kinetic energy of motion when we go running. Uh, a couple other examples here, batteries are chemical energy. And basically, if you're using anything that moves and is battery powered, it's converting that chemical energy from the batteries into kinetic energy. So a remote control car would be an example of that. Uh, really, anything that uses a battery to make the object move. What about electrical energy being converted into sound energy? This one, there's a lot of examples as well. We, anything that we plug into the wall uses electricity. So uh, TV, for example, you would plug into the wall, it would use electrical energy, and you would get sound out of it. A radio, speakers, any of that stuff that you're plugging into the wall and you're getting sound out of it is going to uh, be an example of this conversion here. What about kinetic energy being converted into electrical energy? So there's a few examples of this. One is windmills. So if you guys have ever seen those wind farms where they have uh, the windmills with the big blades and they're really tall, these are, this is an example of kinetic energy being converted into electrical energy. So these, these blades spin around and the motion is kinetic energy. And then the reason that we have these windmills is that we're getting electrical energy out of them. So this is an example of the kinetic energy of the blades, the motion of the blades producing electrical energy. Right. Another example of this would be uh, the 
a, a hydro hydroelectric power plant. So uh, up in Niagara Falls, they have a power plant, a big power plant like that. If you guys have ever been up there, so how this works is that the falling energy or the the falling water has kinetic energy because it's moving downwards, and there's a turbine that will kind of catch some of this falling water and spin around. So the turbine spins around and produces electricity from the kinetic energy of the water. So hydroelectric plants are another example of this. All right, so then let's look at a few of these examples. Again, pause the video and uh, maybe see if you can come up with these answers on your own. Uh, so when two sticks are rubbed together, what type of energy are we using to rub the sticks together? And then what type of energy are we getting out of that? So rubbing the sticks together, if we think about that, that's going to be kinetic energy as we rub them together. We're moving, so that's going to be kinetic energy. And what are we getting out of it? So we're making a fire, so out of that fire we're getting thermal energy and also light. So we're getting two types of energy here from a fire. Any flame is giving off heat and light, so we have both thermal energy and light energy. The second example here, if a light bulb gets hot after it's been on for a long time, the blank energy used to power the bulb, so we power light bulbs with electrical energy, is converted into what type of energy? Well, the key word here, and we have to use the context, is hot. All right, so this would be thermal energy. So a light bulb obviously also makes light energy, but in this specific case, we were referring to the thermal energy from the light bulb. All right, so again, that's electrical energy being converted into thermal and light energy. A match being lit is an example of, well, matches, if we strike the match, we're using kinetic energy to strike the match. And there's also, this is chemical energy. Because what's on the tip of a matchstick is usually uh, some sort of flammable compound uh, some of them, I think, have phosphorus on them. Some of them, uh, sulfur compounds. Uh, so these, these matches, when you strike them, you're using the chemicals in the match tip to ignite the, the flame. So, and this is being converted into, again, we have a flame, so this would be thermal and also light energy. So anytime we have a flame, a fire, a candlelight, a matchstick, anything that's, that's on fire is going to be giving off both thermal energy and light energy. So the last example here, when you watch TV, what type of energy is used to power the TV? Well, again, you plug it into the wall. So this would be electrical energy. And this is converted into what type of energy do we get out of the TV? Well, light would be one because the TV lights up and that's how we can see it. And there's also sound energy that we get from the TV as well. So both light and sound energy here would be converted uh, from this electrical energy that we started with to power the TV. All right, so thanks for watching this video on different types of energy conversions, and I'll see you in the next one.